New York City is the music capital of the world. And so it's only fitting, I think, that Berkeley, which is the preeminent institute of contemporary music, should be in New York City. I'm all about creating opportunities for Berkeley students to get the gig of their dreams, whatever that might be. For the Berkeley New York City project, I give a ton of credit to Rick DePoffey, Berkeley alum. He had this seminal idea. Wouldn't it be great if Power Station Avatar was not condominiums, but continued to be a world-class place where great music was made? Avatar is known as one of the greatest studios ever built. These rooms are so unique in the way they sound, and I thought it would be great to save it. And Pete Muller, he's been a Berkeley trustee for several years now, and he approached me with this idea and said, what do you think? I'm lucky enough to be able to do crazy things in this world and take on ambitious projects. I went and talked to New York City, and I said, hey, what do you guys think? I mean, we could save Avatar, we could bring Berkeley here. This is a win for everybody. We want musicians to know that they have a home here in New York City to record their music. And so we are delighted that this deal has come about. The city is thrilled to be playing a key role. We want the next generation of young musicians to be training here, to be performing here, to be having their careers here. So having Berkeley here is very important. We want to use Berkeley NYC to transform arts education. We also want to take what it means to be a professional facility in music to the next level. We don't want to touch the beautiful acoustic spaces that are Studio A and B and C because they're perfect. But then we do want to add state-of-the-art video capability to every single studio. We also want to really explore what's on the cutting edge. We're going to be delving into virtual reality and augmented reality. So our goal is to keep it a vibrant commercial recording studio of the highest caliber. We hope we'll continue to do most of the major Broadway cast recordings, some of the major jazz, pop, hip-hop albums. Then beyond that, what we want to do is activate the space with alumni events where they can go to meet and support one another and continue their education, a place for internships for people who want to work in New York or who want to get an experience working in a studio of that caliber, and also to convene thinkers, movers, shakers, entrepreneurs who are doing the work to come and interact with one another and our students. So I hope it will be an amazing place where musicians and artists love to hang. It's really exciting. Everybody that I've talked to in New York that knows anything about the music scene is just, their mind is blown. If it's a creative, energetic, thriving place, whatever direction that goes in, that's a huge win. And this is about planting a seed, making things happen, and then just, you know, hoping that magic comes. I think that Berkeley is going to be a catalyst for really pushing these art forms forward and making it possible for artists to use their art in new ways to better the world. Mm -hmm.